फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट पेरियूजल ऑफ द फोरसेट टेस्टिमनी रिवील्स दैट पी डब्ल्यू वन प्रोसिक्यूटरिक्स हैज बीन कंसिस्टेंट इन हर स्टेटमेंट थ्रू आउट दैट द इंटर कोर्स वॉज अगेंस्ट हर विशेज एंड दैट देर वॉज नो कंसेंट फ्रोम हर साइट एज शी हैड बीन थ्रेटन्ड एंड देर आफ्टर शी हैड बीन सब्जेक्टेड टू पेनीट्रेटिव सेक्शुअल एसोल्ट by her own father apilant accused lal mohammad further the prosecutrix has described in clear and unambiguous words and her testimony has remained consistent during her cross examination that her father apilant accused lal mohammad had committed rape upon her and thereafter threatened her with dire consequences if she told anyone about the incident other material witnesses although the sole testimony of the prosecutrix as above mentioned is sufficient by itself to sustain the conviction of the appellant unless there are compelling reasons for seeking corroboration as the same is a condition for judicial reliance on the testimony of the prosecutrix is not a requirement of law but a guidance of prudence under given circumstances consequently it is relevant to highlight that the case of prosecutrix when appreciated in conjunction with the deposition of pw2 shama pw5 naseem bano pw8 dr bhim singh is further substantiated and corroborated relevant portion from the testimony of pw2 shama is reproduced here in below victim t is my daughter and accused lal mohammad is my husband victim t is aged about 15 years old as my daughter victim t was not feeling well regularly therefore i took her to doctor she was also suffering from fits however it was revealed at the doctor's place by my daughter that she was being continuously raped by my husband for the last many years i came to know about this fact from the doctor also whom victim t told about the rapes committed by the accused initially i was shocked but then i approached a mahila mandal ayog and then police was called my daughter gave statement to the police she was also medically examined accused lal mohammad is present in the court today relevant portion from the testimony of pw5 naseem banu is reproduced here in below since i was not having cordial relations with my husband therefore at the time of the incident i was living with my mother and my sister namely shama parveen on 15 december 2012 my victim daughter namely t had fallen ill my sister shama parveen took my victim daughter to dr bhim singh after taking the medicines my sister brought the victim girl back to the house on the same day after their returning to the home my sister shama parveen had received a telephonic call from dr bhim singh who asked my sister shama parveen to come to his clinic as he had to make her understand about the disease the victim was suffering from and the medicines provided to her pursuant to this call my sister shama parveen went to the cleaning of dr bhim singh after the meeting with dr bhim singh my sister returned to the house and she told me that 
डॉक्टर भीम सिंह हैड टोल्ड हर दैट द विक्टिम गर्ल हैड इन्फॉर्म्ड हिम दैट लाल मोहम्मद द फादर ऑफ द विक्टिम गर्ल हैड हैड सेक्शुअल इंटरकोर्स विद हर सेवरल टाइम्स फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम ऑन दिस आई कोल्ड द विक्टिम गर्ल एंड इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ क्षमा प्रवीण आस्ट अर अबाउट द फैक्ट्स टोल्ड बाय द डॉक्टर द विक्टिम गर्ल हैड टोल्ड मी दैट लाल मोहम्मद वॉज कमिटिंग द सेक्शुअल इंटरकोर्स विद हर फॉर लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स एंड शी कुड नॉट डिस्कलोज दिस फैक्ट ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द थ्रेट गिवन बाय एक्यूज लाल मोहम्मद एट दिस स्टेज द विटनेस फर्दर स्टेट्स द विक्टिम गर्ल नेमली टी इज द रियल डॉटर ऑफ माई एल्डर सिस्टर यासमीन बानो हु हैज़ ऑलरेडी पास्ट अवे द विक्टिम गर्ल हैज बीन ब्रोट अप एट द हाउस ऑफ माई मदर एक्यूज लाल मोहम्मद इज द हजबेंड ऑफ माई सिस्टर शमा परवीन आफ्टर नोइंग द फैक्ट्स ऑफ सेक्शुअल हेरासमेंट विद द विक्टिम गर्ल बाय द एक्यूज वी रिमेंड शोकिंग एंड इन ए डिलेमा आफ्टर अबाउट टू थ्री डेज द मैटर वॉज रिपोर्टेड टू द पुलिस द कंप्लेंट वॉज मेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व पुलिस रिकॉर्डेड माई स्टेटमेंट इन दिस केस आई आइडेंटिफाई एक्यूज लाल मोहम्मद हु इज प्रजेंट इन द कोर्ट टूडे रेलिवेंट पोर्शन फ्रॉम द टेस्टिमनी ऑफ पी डब्ल्यू एट डॉक्टर भीम सिंह इज रीप्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर इन बिलो ऑन इंक्वायरी विक्टिम टी हैड टोल्ड मी दैट हर फादर हैड गिवन द सेड प्रेस्क्रिप्शन परची टू हर देर आफ्टर विक्टिम स्टार्टेड वीपिंग आफ्टर कंसोलिंग द विक्टिम शी टोल्ड मी दैट हर फादर हैड बीन मेकिंग physical relations with her for the last 3 years she had also told me that her father had threatened her she also informed me that her father used to press her neck and used to threaten to kill her the victim had requested me not to disclose the said fact to anyone on hearing this i was very surprised and shocked thereafter her mother came there and they went away in the evening i made a call to the mother of victim and called her so